Hi, Jonathan here and welcome to Bravo Learning Base. In this video, I will show you where you can find the log files that your project generates. So if you run into issues, you can debug why it is happening. Great. Now let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, as you can see, we are now on an Umbrago Cloud project. And on Umbrago Cloud, there's a couple of ways that you can see the log files. First off, to find the log files, you need to go to your environment and click on the small arrow. As you can see, we have a few options here. We have the error logs and the normal logs. Let's have a look at the error logs first. On Umbrago Cloud, the errors that get logged on your environment while your site is running will be displayed here. So you can get an overview of what has happened on your site. You can see the newest errors that have uh, happened as well as mark them as read once you have read them and taking care of the errors as well. Now let's go back to our environment and have a look at the other log files that we can see. So if we click on the arrow again and click on logs, we will get this nice overview. As you can see, there are four different logs we can look into on our Umbrago Cloud project. We have the Umbrago logs, logs for deployment, the site extension logs, and lastly, the IIS logs. Let's take a look at them separately. The first log that we have is the Umbrago logs. With the Umbrago logs, we can see what has happened behind the scenes when our Umbrago project has started and if there has been any issues related to our Umbrago project. You can click on a specific file name. Once you do so, you will see that we get a nice view of the error log in the browser. It's also possible to download the log file down to your computer and view it for a deeper analysis of the log file. We recommend in this case that you use the compact log file format viewer. I'll add the link in the description below. Next up, we have the deployment logs. These logs are created as part of the deployment process between environments. You can have a look at them to see the process of what happens when you deploy from one environment to the next one and whether it was successful or not. As you can see here, we have the deployment ID, the time of the deployment, who did the deployment and whether it was successful or not. And if we click on it, we get even more details about the deployment. And as you can see, we get a nice overview of what has happened when you deployed between your environments. We then have the site extension logs. The site extension logs are the internal logs on Umbraco Cloud and shows us what is happening behind the scenes when you are deploying between environments on Umbraco Cloud. If we click on the files, we can see the operation status, the deployment status, when the deployment was started, and when the deployment ended as well, as well as the information what has happened. So it gives us a lot of information. Lastly, we have the IIS logs. You have to be on a professional plan to be able to have a look at these. They can be enabled from settings and the advanced tab. The IIS logs contains very detailed information about each request made to your environment, giving you a deep insight into what is happening on your environment. As the logs requ are requiring a lot of resources to be collected, these logs should only be enabled when you are debugging an issue. These are the log files you can find when working on Umbrago Cloud. They can help you get a better understanding of what is happening on your project, as well as help you debug any issues that you might encounter. Great. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jonathan, and I will see you in the next one. Jonathan, out.